So, hello everyone. As we said, I'm talking about condition-based monitoring of industrial assets. I'm sure every one of you has been facing this challenge, unplanned equipment downtime. Where does that come from? There's a lot of different assets in a factory. You have very old legacy equipment. You have inspection methods that are very resource intensive. You maybe cannot keep up with it. Things happen unexpectedly. And in the end, complexity and cost of repairs increase. And the equipment downtime hits directly the bottom line of your company. And that's something you do not want to have. Here's a little diagram we made. You can see at a certain time something happens, the condition starts to change. Maybe vibration occurs, no one knows why. It's not detectable at that stage, but it's there. Then excessive friction comes up, noise, heat, in the end maybe fire, but uh, inevitably the machine fails and is no longer able to produce, and that costs you money. So, Machine condition monitoring is a really important part of keeping the digital factory alive, and it's a growing market. So what do we do? We, as Arrow, are an integrator. We partner with Siemens, especially we partner with Mindsphere, and we connect assets, we add applications, we add hardware, and we put together a bundle that everyone can use to effectively monitor their factory. And now we come to this little yellow thing. I brought it because here it looked like it's that big. No, it is not. You, you can easily attach it to your motor, to anything that vibrates. Can be a construction machine, uh, can be an elevator, can be the ventilator of an HVAC equipment. So everything that has a motor or anything that vibrates can be equipped with this little yellow guy. And then we measure vibration, temperature, magnetic field, and sound. And that allows us to transfer all that into the cloud and monitor it and do analytics with it. So that's the trick. And that helps each of you to effectively run your equipment. That's how it looks when it's mounted. And here's, as I said, very easy smart mesh wireless protocol goes to an IP gateway, and then it goes into MindSphere, and you can see data and do the monitoring, which is yeah, you know, success. I mean, you, you can see what you need to go uh, to the machine to see before, but it's not the whole thing. What you can do to even improve it is use that one. Use a more powerful gateway. Do edge analytics and see if the vibration spectrum you get from the sensor actually changed. That means, is anything in the machine wrong? Or is it just different? And that's what we do in cloud. We use an artificial intelligence engine. We train it. We train it with different uh, vibration spectrums, and then we can see if this is a failure or if it is just uh, not right on the spot. And then we feed it back into the gateway in the edge computing unit, and there it's part of the analytics tool that's working there, and that helps to automatically keep your machine running. And who can use that? Good thing is, almost everyone. So you have very old heavy machinery. You have misaligned shafts in new installations. You have ball bearings that got too hot and maybe the uh, grease just evaporated and the friction started to build up. You have pipes and pumps, very important part of the installation and of the equipment all type of motors, and to the right, smart building, HVAC equipment, also a very, very interesting market for that. 
And that brings us to one of the use cases. You can see those uh, ventilators typically sit on the roof of a house or a hall, for, uh, cooling equipment, so anything, but no one is going there, right? So you need to have a way to see what's going on there before it fails. And that's something that the apps in MindSphere can do and that our hardware can also do. Same to the right, it's an elevator moving uh, stairs. If the motor changes its behavior, I mean, every one of you knows those things are always broken. So it makes sense to uh, monitor them and give, them, give everyone a chance to enjoy the building more than he might be doing if the ventilation doesn't work and the elevator doesn't work. And to the end, if someone feels the need and the urge to immediately buy it, we have a starter kit. So you can buy the box, you can buy a dongle that plugs in every P PC to get the wireless network into the PC. There's software included and a mounting kit. And everything can be watched first floor in the Mount Fear, Mind Sphere Lounge. And we have it up and running, showing data in MindSphere and also showing analytics in MindSphere. Thanks to everyone. Have a good evening. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.